Hello, welcome to the next video of, video series on WSO2 Streaming Integrator Tooling. This video series will walk you through all the features of Streaming Integrator Tooling 1.1.0 product which we released recently. Watch our earlier videos to understand the high-level features, and how to write streaming applications seamlessly. Now, let's dive into understand how Streaming Integrator Tooling help developers to test their streaming applications easily. Once you create your streaming application, you can use the Event Simulator feature to test your CD application. Let's use an already existing sample called Receive and Count Sample to demonstrate the usage. In this sample we have a HTTP source defined. And then we have a query here, which used to count the incoming events and push it to total count stream. Then we have a log sync attached to the total count stream. So whenever an event comes to the total count stream it will log them into the console. In order to test this, we need a HTTP client which will use the configured URL to send events into the system. But with the event simulator you really do not need the HTTP source to send events into the system. In the event simulation, we have two flavors. One is single event simulation and the other is feed simulation. The difference is, in the feed simulation you can use it to send bulk events by reading a CSV file or by reading a database table etc. and the single simulation can be used to send events one by one. Here we are going to showcase single simulation. In here, you can select the CD application, then select the stream which you need to send the events to, then provide values to stream attributes like so. Before you can send any events, you need to start the CD application. So either you can click, start and send button, or just click start button in the top bar. Once you started the CD application, in built console will showcase the corresponding logs and the CD application is started successfully. Once you send the event, you can see in the log, count is increasing in the data section as 1, 2, 3 etc. So likewise you really do not need the specified sources, as per this sample HTTP endpoint to send events into the streaming application. So by using log syncs, you can place them on the output stream definitions and test your flow in each checkpoint to find out whether the output is what you expected. Also, so let's say you really need to send the events from the HTTP client. Then as per the configuration we have the mapping type as JSON in default manner, so we need to send the events into the streaming integrator in JSON format. So without letting the user to create this payload, we have an inbuilt tool called Sample Event Generator to ease this effort. From that, you can select the CD application, the stream which the payload need to be generated from, then select the event format, and click Generate. So using this sample event, you can send event into the system using the HTTP client. 